Whenever you're ready. Okay. Ha. Okay. <laughs> intro. 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 Okay. Welcome back to another video. Um, I think it's a miracle that's happening. I don't know how we are <laughs> able to come Showers up with... Showers of blessing! Able to come up with a video which we did last week to, I mean, another one, which also makes me think that in 2022, whether she likes it or not, at this point, it's probably going to be Kwame and Elaine. We'll probably even change our YouTube banner and, and uh, profile picture. Ooh. Yeah, to Kwame and Elaine. And who would have thought that, I mean, a year ago when the first time she showed up, I mean, on the channel, we would be where we are. And we also talked about that on the previous video, mm -hmm. um, which we ended up in the German Cosmopolitan, which is a pretty big deal for us. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we're here to talk about something that's not very nice. Who are you? My name is, oh, God. Damn. My name is Kwame. I'm a filmmaker, documentary filmmaker, and voice actor. And this is my wife. Uh... Yes, I'm Elaine, and we live together in Accra, <laughs> and we try to share our experiences. I'm sorry, I like to go on and on and on and on and on and on. But let's dive into it. What are we doing today? So today we're talking about, or we are reacting to some of the comments we've received over the past year. Some of the not-so-nice comments, because anytime we put a video out, I mean... 98% or 99% of the comments are good, how they want to see more of Elaine, 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 Elaine. Yeah, so it's not always, you know, rosy when you put yourself out there, when you're vulnerable, you're sharing your life. Yeah. And for us, I reeled her in because, um, yeah, I wanted to share a bit of who I am besides Jose Kwame, the filmmaker and the voiceover artist. And initially she wasn't comfortable, but now she's here. And she's also made me understand that it's more than just bringing my wife in or showing my other, the other side of my life. Mm -hmm. But it's also um, a way to tell people that uh, our relationship, which is me being from Ghana or Africa and she being European or mixed race relationships, do work or can work. Yeah, so we share our experiences with you guys every now and then, and you guys, you know, you do love it, our perspectives, we sit down and talk, and Elaine is getting more and more into the videos because last week we were in the couch, which is my usual very comfortable place. This week, she suggested that we should sit on a bench and change the position. So, yes, this is us with the ZZ plant. Yes, our baby. Yes. So, not so nice, or the dark side of youtubing or putting yourself out there i'm gonna go through the comments and we're gonna to react to it so the first one that i received i think it came on the first video we recorded together is uh you betrayed your race and now you want to bring your colonizer concubine to ghana go live in denmark or something and leave africa to true africans and even the video that we recorded come on it was in ghana in our living room in, in the uh, previous house. And this person thinks I'm betraying the African race by um, getting married to a European. Yeah. Which makes me sad. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, we had a technical difficulty. Um, so it's fixed, it's fixed, um, yeah. We were into this comment. Please read it again. Yeah, so this particular comment, which is, you betrayed your race, and now you want to bring your colonizer concubine. It's just, it's just sad. It just makes me sad because, I mean... Deeper. It's... <laughs> I've said okay. it before. Yeah. I've said it before in... in, in my previous video that we don't choose the ones we love and I think there are people who um, we all learn our history so we all we've all read about you know what happened 400 years ago how I mean Africans were dealt 
the, the bad side of, you know, civilization's growth. I don't, I don't even know how to even yeah. put it. And, and 400 years later, with all these advancements, with how the world is changing, mm. I mean, you can be a fanatic, but not be this, uh, I mean, this derogatory, in my opinion. And there's no guarantee anywhere that if I married a black woman, my relationship would be successful or I'd be happy or mm. like I'm not I'm not tied sorry I'm not tied to a race I'm not tied to a people I'm a person and she's a person and yeah. I like her and she likes me and I love her and she loves me and we understand each other our relationship is working yeah. that's it like it's two people not one African one European Yes, I know it that's can never be one erased. way to look at it, and I think that is what is stressed here. Yeah, but I mean, we are aware of the history. We are aware of that even nowadays, uh, it still has its impact on how the world is. Yeah. Um. So we are. I mean, yes, we're not oblivious to that. We're not ignorant to that, and I think this is merely a reaction to our how it looks. So but how the does person it only just, sees just one... a black person, a white person, an African person, a European person. But if you look at who we are as persons, then you would not say this. And for me, honestly, the whole argument of betraying your race, whew, that's like, I cannot relate to that because race, you, you, race you, is a you, social you, construct. It's made up by men. You've also mankind. betrayed your race. Yes, but... That's so, what he means. I, I get yeah. it. Like the, so, we should stay in our in our race in our. But I mean, yeah, it, I, mean I want it, to it, talk to this person. What he means, <laughs> like race is yeah. such a big thing. And, yeah, and why uh, are we betraying it if we found somebody who we want to spend time with, who we who we love, who we adore, and because how is that betrayal? In this case, it also means that everything that has happened in the world, to the world, around the world, in how global and village the world is now, with the clothes you're probably wearing, with the phone you probably use to type this, it shouldn't be happening. I mean, we should, you shouldn't even have been able to see me recording and putting it out there on this internet and whatever it is, like technology mm -hmm. advancements, people becoming, you know. Yeah. I mean, I know racism and the, the concepts of race it's something that's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. But come on, in 2020 or 2021 or whichever year you posted this comment, please. Yeah, and I, I mean, I can understand that I, can, I, I see the sentiment where it's coming from. Um, but you're also not a, a person who sees uh, me being white as a status thing or that you look down on. Uh, black women or Ghanaian women. No. So that's also not the case. Yeah, we chose each other because we ran into each other We got along or like let's do this. Yeah, and that's and that's what the second um, The second comment is like literally almost like this one, but in a shorter In a different perspective because it says a black guy with low self-esteem who thinks it's a prize to get a white girl <laughs> Yeah, I think the only person who has low self-esteem is rather you, honestly. Yeah, I think it says you more the, about that person yeah, than about you. you are the one you. with the low self-esteem because, I mean, yes, I do understand from where you're coming from the, the, that there are some, you know, there's an argument and there are some black men who go out of their way mm. to be, uh, I, I'm looking for the word, To be mean or to be insulting or to look down upon black women mm -hmm. and when when they get with you know Europeans or white women they think yes they, they are now you know of a different status or a different level which I find rather very stupid because whoever you are I mean wherever you come from will not change by virtue of the fact that you end up with somebody of a different race 
which also means that you still see yourself by what he's saying as a lower version of a person. So to be able yeah. to mark up and be with a European or somebody Caucasian or white, then you've made it. It's this, also, and it's, it's also is, weird to is, look at partners as a prize. It yeah. feels very capitalistic. It feels like you're putting people in boxes. This is not, this is not the kind of person who's sitting here. So I'm sorry. Um, I'm not the kind of guy who has low self-esteem. And, no, you're not. And ending up with Elaine being a prize to me. No. Oh, no I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, no. And also in our relationship, I feel <clears throat> there... Of course, we acknowledge the past and how people tend to look at you know, the differences between us. But we, as a partner, I feel you're my equal. And that's what matters. There's no, oh, I'm from the West, so yeah. whatever I say, no. It doesn't, it doesn't, work, it doesn't work like that in this relationship in the first place. So, no. yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not the kind of guy who, who is actually, you know yeah. what, I'm, not, I'm, I'm explaining too much. Yeah. So. And even if, if you have low self-esteem, that's okay. It's something you can work on, but it's not... It's the not reason the case to here. yeah, it's, and it's not, not a reason to look for a a, no. uh, a Caucasian. No, to, if you have low self esteem, yeah. look for your partner who can support you in that journey. <laughs> I wish you all the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this one I don't think is um, oh yeah okay bad bad comments. It's just I think this person was um, a, a little ignorant about. Um, just read the something. comments. So, so this person was asking if Elaine is bisexual uh, because uh, he saw her Instagram. And her Instagram Can account... Can I react? Yeah, okay. okay. So it's about me, so let me react. So my first response was, one, if I'm bisexual, what is it to you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> if I would answer this yes or no, what would that say about me? That's one thing that this person should check herself. What do you mean with that oh, question? And what, how does the answer, her or himself, what does the answer mean to you? For me, if I'm a bisexual, it doesn't really make any difference if I would say yes or no. Secondly, uh, I think she, he or she refers to he. he to my Instagram where I put my pronouns. My pronouns are she and her because I am born as a female, but I also feel I'm a woman. So it's 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 uh, a pronouns thing because there's a lot. Explain I'm, the pronouns thing because this is yeah. inclus uh, inclusivity. Yes, it's about there are people who um, identify as. So there are people who identify as he him. She, her, or... Or non-binary. Non-binary. Which is it's they. It's they, them. Yeah. And not everybody fits into the gender box of he, Or not everybody she, wants to be recognized as... Be. And I feel gender is something that we should discuss more often because not everybody feels at home in those two boxes. And how do you do that? How can you bring the conversation home? is by expressing yourself, for example, by social media. So you put your pronouns in your profile to make of people how you more, want to be addressed. how you want to be addressed. So to make people more aware, what you see is not always how a person would want to be addressed. And it opens a conversation about, um, no, it opens, a more, it creates a more inclusive environment because you don't assume, you ask, you are curious, yeah. you share it together. and. I am trying to also open up that conversation by putting my pronouns in my Instagram profile. So, um, although the question is still peculiar, <laughs> because I don't know what it means or why the person would ask it, or um, it's not about being bisexual if you put your pronouns out in there. This is more uh, being uh, an inclusive-minded person. I hope I explained it well. If not, drop more information in the comments if you want <laughs> to add to this uh, pronouns discussion. Yeah. Because I'm also here to learn and I'm trying, but yeah. I don't know everything, so. Yeah, and this uh, particular commenter is two of them, uh, separate, mm -hmm. but he seems to notice something about our relationship and uh, how present Elaine is in speaking her mind and how it's more mutual, you mm -hmm. know, um, 
understanding, mutual respect, mutual decision making kind of relationship. And he says that men are more rational and women are more emotional. That is why men should lead and women should follow. If they trust your leadership, that's how relationships work. So he's telling how us how relationships work. Okay. Thank S you for same, the same person says, honestly speaking, I think a man should be the rock of the household and you cannot always be soft. Just have balance. Talk to your boys about how you feel <laughs> instead of your wife. Okay. So this person thinks that Ooh, lots of assumptions there. This person thinks that I shouldn't we shouldn't even be doing this or engaging in conversations about, you know what we feel, what we think, and how we actually make decisions together. He thinks that I should come and sit here and tell people that everything is fine. I've, talk, I've spoken to my boys. My wife is okay. <laughs> Nothing else also... matters because I have decided yeah. I'm the man. Mm -hmm. That's what this person thinks. And I mean, everybody can choose their own way of living, so there's no right or wrong. Yeah. But for us, it doesn't really work like that. And I, it also relates to what we were discussing about the pronouns before and the gender roles that are attached to that. Men supposed to be the rock of the household, only rational, not emotional. In my humble opinion, I feel that we all have a masculine and a feminine side. We all have masculine energy, feminine energy. I don't think it's necessarily attached to a gender role and men need emotional support just as much as women. So men are also emotional and um, men also feel a lot. It's just that in society, it's not as encouraged to express it. Yeah. So I agree with him that you should talk to your boys about what you feel, <laughs> but it doesn't mean you can I also... I can talk to my boys about what I feel, but I'm not going to sideline my wife and talk to my boys and come and decide for my wife. No, no, that's just not how, that's not how, how we relate. No. And I think it can also be very limiting because um, it's important for me to be heard. And the fact that you do, you do that, that makes it also it's, work. It's an equal partnership. Yeah. That's what But I mean, if people like to design their relationship like this, they, ha they can. But then maybe it's not for us like that. Yeah. And you are a rock. But we are both rocks. <laughs> I'm not a rock, okay? <laughs> no, and I mean, I think this image of man should only be strong. I'm not strong, it's... please. I like soft life. Thank you. But let's, also, let's, no, it's no. more fluent like that. It's, it's Me, not Me, I one like thing. soft life, okay? I'm not a rock. Yeah. I'm an equal partner, as far as I know. Damn. Um, this one is not necessarily negative in my opinion, but it's an annoying one regardless. Um, people who often would, I don't know if he's jokingly ask if I can hook them up with a white person or a white mm -hmm. partner. How did I get a white girl? And Charlie, they also want a white girl. I mean, I think this goes back to the prize person who yeah. Because people still think that having a, a Caucasian or a European wife or partner yeah. is a status symbol. So th this person is like, wow, she's so non-racist. Um, very good for you, brother. Um, I want a white woman too, but they are so racist or they are racist towards me. Yeah, I... I this is a bit difficult to judge on only the comments. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of, um, how you start your friendships with these women and how you go about it. But I think this is more about personality clash and yeah, but maybe is, yeah. motives for wanting the relationship too. Yeah. Like it's also about the intention. If you're going in, like I want to be with a, a white, white woman. woman, I feel that's quite extreme and, you go for who the person is as a person, not necessarily... Where they're from and the skin color and what it means to you or what you get out of it. So, it, I don't know, if, if, if it's, it's a personal yeah. um, kink or status thing for you, I yeah. have no idea how to help you out with this one. So... Um, and also his observation that I'm non-racist. I think, of course, I try to be anti-racism and also in our relationship. But it's not like I'm finished with that. It's every day you're working towards like decolonizing your mind and
being anti-racist when you move through society and when you move through life. So, just being just being an all-round nice person. It doesn't have to be. That's the whole thing about yeah, the race I, conversation and everything. Just be kind to people. Just see people for what they are, who they are, and yeah. Be but, kind. but I think his comment also suggests that I am done. Wow, you are never done because the world is still uh, unequal. Like there's a lot of inequality, unequal, unequal. Yeah. and we are never done. So even though I am in a relationship with, yes, a black man, yes, a, a man from Ghana, it doesn't mean it kind of exempts me from doing anti-racism work. So that also didn't sit well with me. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one, like the comments just like, this, this is a heavy video for me. It triggers because, a lot. Yeah, yeah. this is it's because I, it's just draining to read some of these things. Um, this one says, who cares uh, about Netherlands culture? We need them to return what they stole from Africa and pay repatriation for huge damage they caused in Africa. So we post our culture shock and if somebody thinks that, look, don't put this thing here, we don't care. Tell them to okay. bring the money back. No, I mean, I acknowledge, yeah. I, 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 we, I, I, I hear, I hear. I'll, I'll tell him. So you guys should bring the money back. Yeah. I mean, we... No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> We acknowledge the history, once again, we acknowledge the history. Um, I, we are not putting Netherlands culture out there like this is what you should adhere to. But it is where I'm coming from, so that's why we are sharing it. It's our own experience. Repatriation is a difficult topic. I don't think we should go into that now. We but can't go into that. No, we cannot. Yeah. But the, if you look into that specific topic, it's very complex. Because, yes, we stole a lot. I agree with you. But there were, yeah, no, I'm not going into Exactly. This. No. <laughs> you you <laughs> cannot, just stop you, it. yeah, just stop. You can't. I'm a, we are aware. You we can't. Are not we are aware. It's we okay. We are not forcing any culture upon you. And we are aware that things have gone really wrong in the past. And repatriations is an interesting discussion. So we should definitely have that discussion. It's okay. Maybe it's, okay. it's, it's not okay. up it's to okay. us. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's not up to us. Okay. I told her to bring the money. If she doesn't have the money, it's okay. It's not up to us. And this one is an interesting, the most interesting out of the bunch for me because uh, I'm going to mention the name. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Anonymous. And this is the only lady, that's if it's an actual lady, account. Out of all the ones I've read, they're all mm -hmm. men. This is the only one with the female name. And uh, this person's observation comes from one of our videos saying that uh, he looks like he beats her. See how scared she got when she was laughing and he was asking what's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can. So when we joke, you know when we joke and um, you think the joke is like um, funny or like, and I react like, I know it's funny, but I react like, yeah, it was funny. And then you, you pause like, you're not sure that, like, you know, and we laugh about it again. I don't know what this person um, no, but saw. I don't know either, but I can confidently say it doesn't beat me. I, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> no, and I think what she sees is I try to take into account his feelings. So I, I respect him and I, I want to take into account his feelings. So whenever I make a joke, I'm checking in whether it's fine. Yeah, but then if you right? make a joke about something and you're teasing me and I don't like it and I say what's funny and you, you pause, like how does that even read into like abuse? Mm. Like, because... Well, I don't know that. I mean, I've never been in, thank God, an abusive relationship, but you maybe the person recognized that? something. But let's just debunk this one. He doesn't beat me. We are good. Next. It's not even to be debunked. There's nothing to be debunked. No. It's, it's not a rumor. It's nothing. There's nothing to be debunked. It's yeah. nothing there. It's not he doesn't beat me. It doesn't exist. So please, whatever you are reading, you're reading too much into the video and the yeah. reactions. Watch and en enjoy. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay, next one. And this one is also another, you know, um, fanatic who says, if we have kids, the kids are going to be bipolar or worse yeah this one i find a bit disrespectful yeah because not only to us but also to people who have by bi are bipolar sorry 
because that's not how this works and it, that's you marry or you 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 have a partner from a different uh, continent or culture and because you're going to be mixed race it automatically or automatically means that your kids are going to suffer mental health disorders yeah. as as like is no so <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, bipolar, just... it's also not a death sentence, like uh, your mental health, you should take that, take care of that and it's, you can have you, a you precious don't, don't life to, without... Babe, you don't even have to explain what... Uh, I find it insulting that he's putting it like yeah, bipolar bi bi is... Bipolarism is not a mixed race sickness. No. That is how stupid and ignorant that sounds. Yeah. Bipolarism is a mental health issue, which... I mean, hasn't been addressed or is still being addressed because the world is now becoming more aware of mental health yeah. issues. So if you know anybody that's going through bipolarism, it's not because... No, it's just, let's just stop. So the person should educate themselves on one on, on bipolar and what it means. And secondly, mixed race relationships, it doesn't mean you get a mental health disease from coming from different race or intercultural parents so educate yourself i think you can do it next comment that that's it oh this verse all of them yeah because that 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 person continued with some bible verses and stuff that i don't want to go into okay yeah just but that bible verses that we are doing something yeah out of the bible saying um neither shall thou make marriages with them Thy daughter and that, yeah, look, you know what? Yeah, okay, um, you and your religious fanaticism and extremism can find a different book outside your interpretation of what the Bible yeah. is and read and educate yourself. And it's all I, I mean, be, um, being religious or believing in something that's very personal, um, it's interesting that you apply it to us, but we have our own reasoning to that. I believe that love is love. And our love is also love, no matter the differences. And um, yeah. I think the Bible so, verse so is a bit out of context. I, 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 that's I, I, my I, whole I, opinion. This, this whole video, I wanted to do it just to get it off my chest, but it's still super heavy for me. So before you post a comment about a mixed race couple and what they are going through, just pick up a book or just go on the internet that you're using to post the comments and read something before you, you talk. Yeah, but what makes it so heavy for you that it's so... What the level of ignorance. Mm. It's, it's, it's a bit startling. Yeah, but that's also... I mean, that's also one side of doing what we're doing. We're putting ourselves out there. We are speaking up because we want to show that we exist. We are our... our we are our authentic self. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, the thing goes <laughs> absolutely. So that people... Maybe they've never spoken to an interracial couple or an intercultural couple, so then we are the first avenue, which makes it difficult because we get these replies. Yeah, okay, I guess. Yeah. So, I guess it's, so it's like the other side of the, of the coin. I mean, I love that when people say that our videos are helpful or they got a thing or two from it, that's really great, but this is the other side of it, that yeah. you are in the spotlight and it's easy to... Yeah, people reacted. And I think for me, what makes it a bit more bearable is that it's like um, when you're an art, I'm not saying our YouTube videos are art, but when you create something, once you put it out there, yeah, it's, it's not the ours to, anymore. It's yeah, subject to critique. No, but it's, it's then it's from the public. It's okay. just like how beauty is in the eye of the beholder. People look at it and they put their own stickers on it from their own interpretation, their own background. So it's not ours anymore, not truly. Okay. Once it's in, in the public space, it's in the hands of the viewer. And that's why you get all these super, like, super extreme comments from here to there, like people touch on all kinds of things because that's what they see. Like how you were supposedly beating me. <laughs> Like, if you know us, you would never say that. But this person, 
that triggered something for her, so she expressed that. So it's not necessarily ours anymore. Once it's out there, once our art is out there, it's in the eye of the viewer. The viewer. Anyway. So yeah, Sorry. That's, that's 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 it for this uh, particular video. I don't know if we're gonna do another video before the year ends, but this is. Uh, Give us some positive comments and then we'll do a video about that. The ones that touched us the most. I, I challenge you if, you, if you're a silent watcher, which I know there are quite a few. Um, if you feel like sharing what you get from our videos, it really helps us also to know what we put out there next. And to it also motivates us to keep doing this. And yeah. Yes, there are a lot of these people around who shoot ignorant comments, but we also see a lot of positive comments and when people come up to us and say that they appreciate us. And we love it's it. Really there. And we love it. Yeah. So yeah. we're good. Thank Sometimes you things for... are difficult. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can do hard things. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Let's okay. let's let's end. You want to wrap up? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, or follow, and comment below what you take away from our videos. Yeah. And we'll, we'll catch we'll, you we'll, soon. I'm going to hug Kwame a bit more because now he's sad. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye. Yeah. Doei. Dag lieve mensen. Doei doei. Yeah.